Okay, so this is supposed to be an updated version of the other shrine stage. I think we covered it last week, or was it the week before? I like how you um, were able to like fit the Zorb designs like on those objects without them looking smushed and weird, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Is this just a comeback or something? Oh yeah, there you go. Is this supposed to be like on a timer or something? Because I know there's like a trick to do something like that. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's pretty nice uh, update, updated version. I like it. Um, yeah. Now, now this right here, this, this is what I'm talking about. I don't see anybody making uh, Wario Land or <laughs> Wario World stages. Well, I, you I hardly see Wario Land either. That's nice, dude. That looks awesome. I think this is supposed to be the little uh, elf guy in the box. You got the health. You punch him, get health. You have the little collectible little button to hit on the wall. Treasure chest, that's awesome, man. And you got that little trap door thing. Well, it's not a trap door, but it's like a, you know, you ground pound on it, and it's like a little bonus room. Nice. See, I, I wish like we would get more Wario like stuff in Smash, not just like Wario Wear, because I, I like the Wario, you know, land and games way better than Wario Wear, but they're both good. But yeah. That's pretty cool, dude. It's pretty nice. You went all out with this, I see. Yeah, but yeah, dude, you keep it up. That's really cool. This right here, this right here is, is what I'm talking about. This is like two stages in a row that I've been wanting people to make, but nobody makes them. Like everybody's always making like a Sonic stage or they're just like trying to follow trends, which isn't bad. But dude, this is, this is nice, man. Yeah, like I don't, I don't care. I mean, you make what you want. It's cool no matter what. Like anybody can make what they want. I'm just saying, like that's all you really see. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I was playing Monkey Ball Banana Blitz uh, recently, and like they, they don't have the little party ball when you cross, cross the goal for some reason. I was like, what? I don't know. It's not a bad game. It's actually pretty fun, but it's definitely like not anywhere as amazing as the first and second one. But it's still a lot of fun. I think it, the music and everything is great on there. This the uh, banana blitz. But yeah, I, I love the first two the most. They're so amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty uh, interesting. So apparently this is supposed to be like a jump scare uh, stage. Okay, I won't I won't look down there because <laughs> it's probably what's down there. I thought there was like you know like footprints on the wall for a second, but I guess that's like a little evil little monster. He's gonna get you. <laughs> I'll just wait and uh, see what happens. I can't really hear the music because I have my TV turned down so low, so like the mic doesn't pick up the audio from the TV. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, it, like it instantly happened too. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure how you did that. Um, you know, you, you have like a lot of technical stuff going into this. I'm a simple man. Um, wah, oh no! Ah, uh, is it gonna happen again? Maybe every time it hits like a, a line on the town. I'll, I'll do one more, one more. Uh, see it happen one more time. Is it happen on a new one? What am I saying? What what is this supposed to be? Oh, it says blue. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty cool, dude. Nice. Now this is like the the beginning of uh, the Subspace Emissary from Brawl. Pretty nice. It looks really, really neat. Like, like neat as in like clean, you know, very professional. I wish, like, in, in Stage Builder, you could, like, change the background, like, without having to rebuild everything, you know what I mean? Because, like, if you try to change, like, the sky to, like, the uh, volcano dark background with the lightning, you can't do that without rebuilding everything. Which, you know, sucks, but it's whatever. I always picked Mario for this fight, obviously. Some some kid in elementary was like, he's like telling me, he's like, um, I was like, yeah, Mario Mario wins that fight. He's like, but you can pick Kirby. Yeah, but we all know who won. Is it right, man? But, but yeah, I mean, I love Kirby, but. Yeah, I mean, because like the whole Subspace Emissary, it's like there's like different branching paths, like. Who you, who you rescue like later on with like Peach and Zelda, you know? It's like different things happen, but it's basically the same. It doesn't matter, really. 
Because they all end up in the same place anyways. I'm surprised did I, yeah, I don't think they did. I'm surprised they didn't make like the uh those little I don't know what they're called, you know those little evil minions. I'm surprised they didn't make that like a me costume. <laughs> Unless they did. I'm pretty sure they didn't. As I, I looked through all that. That'd be crazy if they did though. Alright, yeah, that's pretty nice, dude. It's really awesome. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be from, like, a, one of, like, the Aladdin games, or it's just an original thing. But it looks pretty nice, dude. Like, that's, that's really nice. Looks like something from like a Super Nintendo or Genesis game. Unless it is like original, I have no idea. Yeah, you went all out on this, man. You, you like used every layer to the best. Of your ability, you, you like took advantage of what you had with to work with. It, it, this has to be something from one of those games. I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. I've never played it. I actually never even watched Aladdin like all the way through. I think I watched it like uh, in like music class or chorus or whatever when I was like in elementary. <laughs> Oh man, I don't I don't sing, but yeah. Uh, I had to watch a lot of musical shows in there. Yeah, but dude, anyway, that's not important. Anyways, it's, it's pretty nice. I feel like this is definitely from a video game. Cause you got like this little thing, it's like, I don't, I don't remember that. It's like, it looks like a video game. Oh gosh! Enemy. Or maybe, maybe it helps you, I have no idea, but it's pretty cool. You really used every layer to the best of your ability. You probably ran out of room, I'm not sure. But yeah, dude, awesome job, man, really. Oh, I like how that just like it just like fell. It's like whoosh, like on the the blue platform. It's pretty nice. You know what, dude? You you really nailed it. I can't believe it. You put these little lines right here to look like it's like a reflection on the the glass. Oh man, that's nice. That's a pretty nice stage, eh? Pretty, pretty interesting. I, I was gonna make a hockey stage here pretty soon. Cause obviously like, you know, hockey's like a Canadian sport. But is that all you play over there? Or do you guys play other things? Obviously in my opinion, hockey is the best sport of all time. Without a doubt. Definitely the most intense, rough sport. You hit with a flying puck, covered in ice, rubber, moving 90 miles an hour. They get hit in the face, they come right back out to finish the game. You don't see that in other sports. They'll cry, other people like in basketball, they'll cry over like a sprained ankle, but like... These guys are getting hit in the face with a puck and they come right back out. But yeah, whatever, you know. Uh, I just I just love hockey. Obviously, like, my favorite teams: the Anaheim Ducks, NHL team. Um, yeah, dude. You, you probably like the Winnipeg Jets, maybe, or the Montreal Canadiens. I uh, I don't even know. Do you like hockey? <laughs> A lot of questions to ask. 
I also like the Blue Jackets, but <clears throat> yeah, definitely. The ducks are my favorite, man. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, pretty nice. I like how you put that. The lines on the glass. You didn't even have to do that. that that's pretty nice. That's awesome. All right, dude. Yeah, but man, that's pretty cool. Okay, what the, what the heck? So, um, you know, the stage is called Infinite Platforms, I'm guessing. Like, that's what it's short for. Oh, wow! That's pretty nice. It's definitely like a, um, like the big blue stage, you know? Like how you try to like catch up and like run on it when you like not on one of the cars. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I always do that. Um, anyways, that's pretty cool. Do you think do you think if you played a Sonic, you could outrun it? Maybe not. That's moving pretty fast, I have no idea. S somebody can, can try that out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Now, I don't think there's a way to get to the ice one, is there? Yeah, I don't think so. Is it underneath it? Or is it in the foreground? Yeah, a lot, a lot of people do like tips and tricks videos. I just don't, I don't got time for that, man. <laughs> and like most of the time I can't even find anything, but yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'll do it one more time. Like, yeah. Well, actually, if you're, if you're quick enough, you can kind of like recoup yourself. Is, it, is that even a word to even say? Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, um, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing you'll make like, a stage soon out of it, but yeah. Yeah, um, I, I saw you post this on Twitter. Um, I, I said that like every time, um, I don't know what to say, <laughs> yeah, but it's obviously from Tekken, and like, I saw like a picture of Rayquaza, because I know they made that Pokemon tournament crossover game, I never played it, just too many games, dude, how many times do I say that, I don't know. I just don't got time. It's pretty nice. Everything's like the, the same color. So I think it was intentional. I have no idea. I just play the same games every every day. Every year I mean. I never played Tekken. The the end of support on Mortal Kombat. No! Has anybody even played Injustice? I've never played that before. I don't want to play as Batman. I want to play as Sub-Zero. This is pretty awesome, though. I could definitely tell this like, probably took a long time because like all the shapes and everything. It's awesome. What if, like, when you, like, grabbed Mario, like, 
when you play as Mario and you like throw people, whatever that, like a close up, like it does with the Kazuya guy. That's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, keep it up, man. It's, it's really great. Lot, lots of uh. I want to say detail, but maybe it's an overused word, but yeah, it's really, really amazing. I really do like it, though. Now, now that, that's awesome how uh, these are like, the bushes are rustling. Is it a bush? Pretty sure it's supposed to be. It's pretty cool. See, everybody does that clouds with, like, the moon or the sun. Like, it's still, like, anime-esque, you know? It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, that's interesting how you put that like that. Pretty sure that was, that was intentional, just so, like... Because there's wind right there, but maybe they also intended for that to block you. I don't know. Yeah, they made five Tekken games? Like, what the heck? I haven't even played one of them yet. Get ready for the next fight. That was cringe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know, like, what, what it's supposed to be like a, like a destroyed landscape or something. Like, that's crazy. Like, what happened here? It's pretty cool though, I really do like it. But yeah, dude, you keep it up. Oh my gosh, what happened to his eye right here? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just supposed to be like the Bernstein Bears or something. <laughs> oh man. Oh my, wow. Why is his eyeball big right here? I don't get it. It looks like a like a like a, a clay statue someone you know put together. I don't know. Like with the eyeball popping out. Who's that other little bear? Yeah, little bear. Yeah. He's on that little bear uh, toothpaste commercial. <laughs> oh man. Wait, so there's the little bear, and then there's the or um... I almost said oral toothpaste, no. Who's the... Berenstein Bears, yeah, okay. These don't look like the Berenstein Bears, though. I don't know what this is from. Well, it looks like they're looking at this guy, because he like, ate their food, maybe. I don't know, this, the stage is called like Spaghetti. Or something, I don't know. People make like a lot of like like meme stuff on here. Like I, I just I'm, I guess I'm just getting like too old. I don't can't keep up with the culture. I don't know what this is from. Um yeah, but it, it's pretty silly. It's pretty funny though. I don't know what what's up with his eye. Whoa, is this like a oh, okay? Yes, it's like a different part. I don't know why they did that though. Like they drew this separately. Or, no, no, they drew this part separately, this little rectangle down here. Huh. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, these Berenstein Bears, or what's happening here? <laughs> Yeah, okay. A lot of people like to uh, make a lot of... Like, brands on here, man. Like, everybody's always making, like, restaurants. I don't get it. And pe people go crazy for this stuff, man. Like, it has, like, so many likes. Like, what the heck?
What, where's the drive through window? <laughs> it's just the front of the building, I guess, so, huh. That's like a nice M. That's like the perfect M. That's exactly how it looks. Whatever happened to Ronald McDonald? Where'd he go? Did he go in retirement? Like, <laughs> I had an idea for a stage like a long time ago. Where I was gonna make like the Wendy's girl fight in the Burger King. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what it was. It was the uh, the State Farm. The State Farm guy fighting the, the progressive girl. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I'll make like them with the gears moving and, and stuff. Like, their arms would be mo it'd be pretty funny. Like, you ever like play Mortal Kombat and you, like watch the character endings? How like they like move like that? <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> oh, man. That'll be pretty funny. I was gonna do it, but I, I don't really care to do it anymore. But yeah, dude. Um, that's pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I remember I went to McDonald's like a long, long time ago, and like I was eating French fries, and one of the French fries had like like Super Saiyan hair, like no joke. It was like fuzzy yellow, like on the on the end of it. I'm like what the heck? I almost ate that. I almost became a Super Saiyan. That was crazy. I don't know what what that was even about, but yeah, I, that was insane. Anyways, pretty nice stage. I really do like it. It's, I mean, it's pretty simple, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, once again, referring referring to Twitter, this is from like Mar Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road that was in uh, Smash Bros. 3DS, I think. That's pretty nice. I did something similar, but with like a Mario Bros. Deluxe stage. Like I recreated the box art and I did this like rainbow layer thing. That was, a, that was like a while back, way back when like, eh, probably like two months after Stage Builder uh, came out. Stage Builder works. I like how you like made it made it like windy right here, so it looks like it's like winding in. That's pretty nice. You you really know what you're doing, huh? Yeah, I always pause it in the middle because like I'm trying to like get like a good thumbnail. <laughs> And I also like to just, you know, show it how it would have looked, like, I don't know, full screen, I guess. It's really nice. <clears throat> Did he use all the colors and all that? It looks pretty cool. Yeah, but like I, like I said, I don't think you guys even actually watch this stuff. If you do, you don't have to rush to make stages. You can take your time. You know, whenever you're ready, I'll play them. I'm always gonna be here. But yeah, dude, you knocked both these out of the ballpark. That's the right thing to say. Yeah. Really awesome. I really do love it. And, uh, yeah. Holy, holy moly. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, 
Always watch out when you eat those McDonald's French fries. Watch out for the Super Saiyan hair. I almost, almost died probably from eating that. Oh, there goes another brand deal. Um, yeah. Yeah, um. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.